At about the same time Nebraska launched its Trident missile, the attack submarine USS Pargo returned home to Groton, Connecticut after a three-month deployment to the North Pole. But Ambassador Dave Smith went to the Pargo's homecoming and talked with some of the crew members about their trip to the top of the world. It was a wet and dreary day for a homecoming, but the crew of USS Pargo have seen worse, especially after spending 20 days in the North Pole. The sub embarked five scientists and 20,000 pounds of gear for Science Exercise 93. Although research at the North Pole has been done before, this particular brand was quite unique. Well, it was the first time that we've used a submarine platform to, uh, uh, with scientists on board to su support civilian, uh, civilian research of the Arctic Ocean. The exercise evaluated the attack sub's ability to collect data in the Arctic in a way that no other platform can. Scientists normally use icebreakers for this type of research, but have since discovered the submarine to be more maneuverable. The only way you could do it was with a submarine. Airplanes bank too much, or airplanes have to contend with the wind. We just have to contend with uh, currents. Data was collected on global climate change, movement and changes in the permanent ice pack, and more. What we did is we were shooting different probes and uh, buoys. Uh, the buoys, what we would do is plant them in the ice, and they would send out radio waves to send them to different satellites and over the space of two or three years you could uh, collate data and find out exactly how the ice flows move. The scientists left the ship in Norway but not before letting the crew know how much they contributed to their success. I'd like to thank you again for all of the help that you've done in providing the support. The ship is a sturgeon class and uh, it's provided fantastic service for us. Uh, really uh, a terrifically valuable tool and we're hoping we get to use it in the future. Well the scientists were uh, um, very thrilled with what they could accomplish up there and uh, the cooperation we had between the scientists and the crew was outstanding. We got to know them really good actually. They're almost part of the crew the whole time they were there. And with a successful Science Exercise 93 behind them, crew members are once again breaking the ice with their families in spite of the rain. Uh, I don't care if it's raining, this is sunshine to me. <laughs> Coming home after any deployment is, is always sunshine. I don't care about the sweatness. In Groton, Connecticut, I'm Petty Officer Dave Smith.